now it's really raining hard so the fear of wild camping that's what we're going to talk in today's video and it's a topic that I've been wanting to talk for a little while because my fiance came with me wild camping once and she said it's not for me there was too many noises at night I couldn't sleep with all the noises that I was hearing and I was scared and she never came back so I want to talk about that the fear of the night in the wild and we're all afraid even those videos that you see of people that are very they're veterans when it comes to wild camping and they have tons and tons of videos even they are afraid sometimes so I'm gonna look for a good place to camp for the night and we'll have a chat then so I managed to tidy up a bit I'm gonna make my bed first then I'm gonna make a coffee with my kettle it's raining on and off I can't leave the door open because the tent will get wet the inner of the tent got some slight drops when when I was pitching it but it seems pretty dry I'm gonna make the bed the tent is really big so I'm happy for that but I'm a bit wet as you can see while I was pitching it the rain got me so I'm gonna make my bed I'm cozy and dry inside the tent I'm using as a sleeping pad the Trichology UL80 real comfortable I'm feeling lazy, I'm gonna use the pump. <laughs> Seems like the rain stopped. Well, let's prepare the sleeping bag. This is the OEX Helios Evolution. It's got hydrophobic down, so supposedly when it's wet, the down still works and still keeps you very warm. But I don't think it's gonna get wet, or I hope it's not gonna get wet. So, let's make a coffee and have a chat about the fears of camping alone. At night, there's many, many noises that can make anyone afraid. Even I've been afraid the, the last few times that I've been out, I've been afraid. I'm not gonna lie, there's some noises, especially when everything starts to get really, really, really dark. Well, you can get scared, but that's fine. You should start small, don't start going for a massive hike, you know, setting up expectations of making this big massive fire with like, covered it with rocks and just start small. Near home, start near, near where you live. I, that's, I think that's one of the best advices I can give you is start near where, where you live and where you're comfortable being there. So yeah, you don't have to make a fire the first time you go. Bring a camping gas like I'm using now. 
you you don't have to make it as hard for yourself as what's extremely necessary for you to cope with for example instead of trying to make a fire bring a camping gas bring food that you're comfortable with for example i'm i usually never cook on these overnighters i never cook i always bring sandwiches then at night starting to cook and bring in the food it's just if i'm just coming for one night and I'm leaving tomorrow morning, why would I want to cook and having to go through all that trouble? I bring a sandwich, a couple of candy bars, high protein foods. Of course, if you're going to be a few nights out, those freeze dried foods are also really good. I have never tried them. I've been camping many, many, many years, not wild camping, but I've been camping for many years. And I've never tried the freeze-dried foods. It's something that I want to do. You don't have to go on a wild adventure and record it. Me, for example, right now, I'm just in a little corner of the forest. There's a fallen tree that I was hoping to sit down there while I record. But it's just a little nice place in the forest. I didn't walk for long. I didn't hike for 50 miles or anything like that. I just walked for about 40 minutes, found this nice spot, decided to come here. And don't, don't look for perfection. I forgot my, my cup. I left my cup at my house. So, I have to improvise. I want to have a coffee and I'm going to use this to have my coffee. I'll clean it when I get home. You also have to bear in mind that if something happens to you and you're out here in the forest in a place where you don't have any reception whatsoever and something happens to you, you're in big trouble, especially if you're starting out and you don't have these devices that people have to call for help. I don't have one. So if something really happens to me, then I'm stuck here out on my own with no, no way of contacting home. So I'm not that far away from people. I have some connection, some signal. Not much, but I've got one line, one bar. So if I want to send a message or if I want to call emergency services, I can. I'm not that far away from people, but I am in the wild, in the forest. So, like I said, start small and build up from there. I'm not using gear maybe made for really extreme conditions. So if you're using beginner gear, stay within your, stay within your limits, stay within your boundaries. Don't push it too far. And just see how you react. Because when, when the sun sets and you only have your headlamp or your camp torch, believe me, you start to hear things. And Can you hear that? And you always have to bear in mind that when you're starting something out and you're doing it for the first times, you're not going to be the best at it. You're going to have to learn and it's going to be painful and you're going to make mistakes. But that's the point of starting a new hobby. Like I said, in regards to camping, camping, not wild camping, but normal camping. I'm kind of a veteran. I've been camping many, many, many years of my life but not wild camping. This is new for me. Being by myself, it's starting to rain again. Being by myself, especially in the forest or in the wild, it is something new. My family 
spends the whole summer in a camping but it's a camping site it has facilities it has toilets but it's still a camping it's still in the middle of like the wild i'm inside the sleeping bag because it's kind of cold it's around half past seven and i'm just chilling watching the movie i can't be outside anyway so i might just watch a movie and then when that's done i'm gonna go to bed i have the down jacket on i've got a fleece below the the jacket and then i just have a t-shirt for working out so it's quick drying but it's not a thermal or anything i have wool socks no thermal pants i have some wool some wool leggings but I didn't bring them because it's not going to be that cold. It's the forecast is around 9 degrees for the night. Like the lowest it will get is 9 degrees. And the, the sleeping bag, it's rated to like minus 3. So that's the limit. It's rated to comfort 3 degrees and limit minus 3. I doubt you can be at minus 3 in this, although it is down. So... I'm warm. I'm not cold at all. I'm inside the sleeping bag. I'm have the down jacket on the fleece and I'm not cold at all. You can hear the rain. Now it's really raining hard. But seems like water is not coming in anywhere. I feel pretty confident that this tent can survive hard rains I don't see that anywhere is seeping but now it's raining really really hard I really don't want to go out to bed but I will have to at some point before I go to bed yeah I feel like when I'm out here, um, I'm at home. I'm, I'm in a place where I can be safe and not be scared. And it can take some time for you to get to a place where you're comfortable out here. But just enjoy it and just be mindful of the things that can be of any danger to you while you're out there and maybe do something like me bring your own sandwich and stay near a path I'm very near a path I'm near people people are not far away from where I am a half a minute walk one hour walk and I can find people I have I have signal in my phone I've been speaking with my fiance they, they obviously know the location where I am. I send them the location. But I'm still out in the wild. I'm still in a forest. I'm still in nature. I'm wild camping. And as I get more experienced wild camping, like I said, I've been camping many, 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 many times. Well, most of my life, to be honest. Not wild camping, but I've been camping many, many, many years. It feels like a second home to me. It doesn't feel strange. I don't feel like I'm I'm comfortable or and especially if you bring the right gear you're gonna have a lovely night. Beds made and see you in the morning. Good morning. It's ten to eight. It's eight o'clock and I'm gonna make a coffee. It rained the whole night through. Sometimes it did wake me out of the rain. <sighs> but I had a good night's sleep overall. I wasn't cold at all. And yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee.
the tent it's completely soaked on the outside as you can see so I did a good test run on how waterproof the tent is inside I was dry as you can be I had a good night's sleep I did wake up a few times during the night animals making noises I could hear a foxes I think at some point in the night but overall I had a good night's sleep and I'm gonna pack up I'm gonna finish the coffee pack up and go home it's been a good night overall thank you very much for watching guys and like always see you in the next one